Warming the Stone Child, Myths and Stories About Abandonment and the Unmothered Child, by Clarissa Pinkola Estes is a profound exploration of the human experience of abandonment and the longing for the nurturing presence of a mother figure. Estes, a Jungian psychologist and storyteller, delves into the realms of mythology and folklore to dissect the impact of motherlessness and abandonment on the psyche, and offers healing narratives to mend these wounds. Estes begins her work by introducing the concept of the stone child. This term encapsulates the idea of a part of the self that has been abandoned, neglected, or wounded. The image of the stone child conjures the idea of an individual who has closed off their emotions and vulnerabilities, forming an emotional barrier to protect themselves from further harm. This metaphor sets the stage for Estes' exploration of how abandonment can cause parts of our inner selves to become lifeless and unfeeling. One of the central themes of Estes' work is the notion that motherlessness is not limited to the physical absence of a mother. It can also manifest in the emotional and psychological sense of being unmothered. Estes emphasizes that the longing for maternal care and nurturing is a universal and timeless human experience, and when it goes unmet, it can have profound consequences on a person's emotional well-being. Through a rich tapestry of myths and stories, Estes illustrates how the archetype of the mother plays a vital role in our psychological and emotional development. Estes draws on a wide range of myths and folktales from various cultures to highlight the universality of the mother archetype. She presents tales such as The Little Match Girl and La Llorona, exploring how these stories resonate with the collective human experience of longing for the mother's embrace and guidance. By delving into these narratives, Estes shows that stories from diverse cultures share common threads, underscoring the enduring significance of the mother figure in the human psyche. The author also delves into the concept of abandonment wounds and the various ways in which they can manifest in an individual's life. She emphasizes that these wounds often lead to a sense of unworthiness, self-doubt, and the suppression of one's true self. Estes contends that recognizing and addressing these abandonment wounds is essential for personal growth and healing. She provides guidance on how to work with and heal these wounds through psychological and creative processes, encouraging readers to reconnect with their inner selves and reawaken the dormant, stone-like parts of their being. Furthermore, Estes examines the healing power of storytelling and how narratives can be used to mend the wounds of abandonment. She illustrates how sharing stories, both personal and archetypal, can serve as a form of catharsis and transformation. The act of telling and listening to stories can provide solace and create a sense of connection, reminding individuals that they are not alone in their struggles. In Warming the Stone Child, Estes encourages readers to embark on a journey of self-discovery and healing by revisiting the myths and stories that resonate with their own experiences of abandonment and motherlessness. She offers a roadmap for reconnecting with the inner child, nurturing its wounded aspects, and breathing life back into the stone child. In conclusion, Clarissa Pinkola Estes, Warming the Stone Child, is a deeply insightful exploration of the impact of abandonment and motherlessness on the human psyche. Through a wealth of myths and stories, she underscores the universality of the mother archetype and the profound longing for maternal care and guidance. Estes provides guidance on healing abandonment wounds, emphasizing the importance of storytelling as a therapeutic tool. This work serves as an invitation to rediscover and warm the stone child within, promoting self-healing and personal growth.